the new drug czar. Who is this schmuck? New drug czar. Who's this guy? Card number 35. Bob Martinez. Bob Martinez. Card number 35. Bob Martinez. William Bennett's resignation as drug czar in November 1990 and his replacement by former Florida governor Bob Martinez was accompanied by much ballyhooing about the progress made during Bennett's two year at the post. The government claimed that under Bennett, cocaine use had shrunk to a mere 660,000 hardcore abusers. Early in 1991, however, drug officials added 1 million users to, their es to this estimate, saying that previous figures had failed to count users in colleges, high schools, and jails. During Bennett's term, heroin, heroin use actually rose and drugs entered the U.S. in record amounts. Bennett's failure to curtail drug imports is linked to the Bush administration's refusal to enact sanctions mandated under a 1988 federal law against 20 countries, including Panama, Hong Kong, Colombia, Canada, Italy, and Australia, who have not reached agreements with the U.S. to curb money laundering. As for new drug czar Bob Martinez, his best credentials may be that his failed 1990 re-election campaign was managed by the president's son, Jeb Bush, and that he hails from Florida, America's drug import capital. For years, CIA-trained Bay of Pigs veterans like Frank Castro and Armando Lopez Estrada used Florida as a base to mount terrorist attacks against Fidel Castro and Latin American leftists, while other CIA-trained Bay of Pigs, Pigs vets like Juan Rostoy, Restoy and Mario Escobar, who had uh, risen to power through the Traficante mob, financed these operations with narco dollars. The money was often laundered through the world finance cooperation owned and operated by Bay of Pigs vet Guillermo Hernandez Cartea. By 1981, Miami had become Wall Street for the international narcotics trade. And some of these players we read in previous cards. Right. And that was card number 35. The new drugs are. 